Hello and welcome to Catholic Crafty Kids. So this week we are hearing in the gospel about John the Baptist baptizing Jesus and the this being one of the luminous mysteries where the sky opens up and God actually affirms that Jesus is the Son of God and uh, it's represented by the Holy Spirit coming down as a dove. So I thought that we would do uh, bird folding. So I've got uh, some ideas here about how to make some paper birds and napkin birds. So um, if you don't have square paper, I had some origami paper that I used for some of these here. Um, if you don't have origami paper or you just uh, want to make your own, a different color or whatever, um, you can just use any sheet of paper. And if you just fold in a diagonal like so, match up the sides, if it's not square to start with, you can make it square. So you just want to cut off this extra flap. Like so. All right, so then you'll have um, a perfect triangle like that. And what we want to do with that is, um, you can actually leave this. This is the first fold we want to do is to have that triangle. And then we're going to fold the corners up to the top like so. Oops, got something tangled there. Okay, so you're going to get to here and then we want to fold it in half from there and make sure that you have the all the flappy parts out and I'll show you what I mean by that in a minute. So you want to fold it in half so that you've got the three sections here and then the one here. So this will be the back end of your bird, the two wings and the, the tail, and then this is the head of the bird, okay? So the next folds that we're going to do are just preparing to get ready to make the wings. So you can fold this up to the center at the top. And if you want to give the kids something to help them crease paper, if they don't have good fingernails or whatever, um, you know, a pencil or a marker or um, chopsticks are great because they don't leave any markings. Um, number two pencils can sometimes leave a yellow streak where you use them to help crease. All right, so you've got those two things done. And again, here's the back of your bird, here's the front. You wanna take that front of the bird and you wanna crease, kind of fold its neck over right where that this just was. So you wanna make a crease right there and then do the same on the other side. So just bend it and bend it right back. You don't need to leave it folded there. Okay. All right, so once you've done that, you've got all the folds that you need to start making the wings. So you can pull these flaps back down to get started with that. And like I said, you've got wing, tail, wing. So take one of your wings and start to fold it up. And this crease right here is what you're gonna use. You're gonna, you can kind of put your finger there or something to hold it. You're gonna crease it up along that fold until it goes vertical. And notice that you're going to end up on the crease that you made at the bottom here and that wing is going to go up like this okay and then you can lock it into place by doing that okay we'll see that again on the other side so take your wing and again this crease right here is the one you're going to use so use that crease that you made at the neck keep folding up until this part that used to be along the back this part goes vertical and then again use that fold at the bottom here that we made to kind of lock that in place all right and mine didn't turn out quite great. I didn't measure well, but that's okay. Birds have uneven wings all the time, don't they? Okay, so then what we're gonna do is we're gonna make the face and we're gonna make the tail. And if you want me to turn it back around like it was before, we can do that. So the face, what we wanna do is kind of open this a little bit, and then we're going to push the center down until we make what looks like a good angle for a beak. So you can kind of judge for yourself where you want to stop that fold. Okay, I'm going to put mine right like so, okay? So you got your beak in the front. And then same idea in the back, you're going to um, push the tail in like this. You can go all the way to the wings if you want to and um, choose whatever angle you think looks right. Or you can just go to the fold too. That's, that's easy, I guess, if you want to start that way. And then um, fold that tail down. Now you've got two layers here so one of those could stay going up and the other going down and that makes a very nice looking tail for your for your dove okay and then um what we're going to do next is show you how to do this with a napkin because it's kind of fun you know if you want to make a a fun thing for family dinner and ha have a conversation about this whole thing on over dinner 
you can use, what you do need is you need a square napkin. Now, I know there's a lot of places out there that'll show you that you can do this with cloth. Um, I got out my cloth napkins and they were just way too flimsy to make this work. But if you've got really nice stiff linen napkins, you might be able to try this with a linen napkin. Um, what I've got is just, well, I've got like these napkins where you get like a thousand of them for a dollar. <laughs> this does work pretty well with those, okay? What I did notice though, is that when you first get them, they're not square. So what you wanna do is you wanna, and again, pay attention to where the flaps are. So you just wanna um, make a fold over, a diagonal fold over, and then trim off that excess um, where the four flaps are. Um, you'll just wanna trim on that side of the napkin if possible, okay? And then you can get started with what we're doing here. Um, the other kind of thing that I had at the house was these little bit of fancier, like a party napkin, and these come square. So those are ready to go if you've got those. So I'll just do a quick demo with one of these. So then again, we'll start with that. We always wanna start with um, making kind of a diagonal. Birds are just, birds are based on triangles when we do the folding. So we'll do a diagonal fold here. Now the napkin's are slightly different than the origami. You can try to do the origami with a napkin, but it gets a little complicated and a little crazy. Um, well, one thing we wanna notice is that we do want those four openings on the tail end of the bird. So this will be the head of the bird, this will be the tail. Um, and we want to, oh, let me think for a minute here. Yes, we wanna fold at the head of the bird, we wanna fold the two sides in, like you would if you're making a paper airplane, except we're making it on a diagonal, from the diagonal fold instead of from the side to side fold, okay? Then we flip that over and you wanna pull that down and you can, depending on how long you want the neck of your bird to be, you can kind of gauge it. I'm kind of stopping right here where the edging on the napkin is. And we'll see how that goes. And again, with the napkin, it's a little tougher because you don't want to tear the napkin, but you can, you know, push on it, crease it with whatever tool you've got to help it um, stay put. Okay, so I'm just going to do that right now because now it gets exciting. We're going to pick it up off the table and start doing some cool stuff. All right, so from there, we're going to fold this in half and kind of stand it up. Okay, now your bird's head is inside here. All right, so when you're ready, you can pull on the pull on the neck and then and pull it out and pull it until it looks right to you kind of bird like okay so right about there it looks good to me and again crease it so that you lock in that angle all right and when that when you've got that done then here again same like we did with the paper you you're going to press in and make a make a beak so press in again at whatever angle looks right to you just kind of lock that in, maybe a little steeper than that, I don't know. So there's a lot of choices you can make here about how you want yours to look. Okay, and mine got a little off kilter here, so I'm just gonna refold it a little better so it's neater looking. There, there's our nice little beak, okay. So we've got the beak, and then um, what's nice about these is they do have a little bit of a triangular shape in the front, but if you'll notice, it's a little tail heavy, so the tail falls down. So now at this point, you've got a couple of choices. Now the one is a little easier to make work than the other, but the other's really pretty. So um, when you're here, you've got the four layers in the back. You can try to pull that bottom layer way down, and then the next one a little less, and the next one a little less, the next one a little less, and that'll give the bird kind of a base to rest on. And so that's one way to do it. And it's also very pretty in the back. You've got a lot of, you know, um, flow going on there with your bird, okay? Um, but it, um, something that's just a slightly simpler way and it's a little more reliable is you can kind of start to bend this down and let the wings come out to the sides until you hit a place where you think that looks right. Okay, kind of pull those wings all the way down, oops, straight up the tail. So oops, kind of like when you're doing almost looks like that bird of paradise kind of thing. All right, so um, and you, I'm gonna put mine, I don't wanna bend it all the way down. I want it to be like way where the neck is here. So from the place where the neck is, kind of bend it around and it's sort of like that. And if you wanna um, just kind of lock in that fold as well, that'll give your bird more of a, a resting on the ground kind of look and it'll stand up, okay? So lots of choices, enjoy that and have a great week.